Okay. All right. That's exactly what we think it is. <sighs> Look at this, dude. As far as you go, you can see him. Her headquarters are these the people in the it's organization? Psychology. Is that Red Mask? Is that Slim T? Is that Black Mask? Is that the, the quiet guy? Makes sense. Surely he's not gonna come and get in that truck if we're watching, right? What is, is that a book? Six, 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 six. Maybe evil's here because people have came and vandalized this place or? <gasps> and look, if that's not creepy, I don't know what is. You say be careful? What do you care if something happens to me? Tell Yesko to come back and I'll leave you alone. I'm watching you, Mr. D. All right, guys, today we are, uh, obviously we're, we're hot on the Randonautica trail, but we're a little freaked out right now because we've been driving and seeing nothing. Wait, there's something right there. Uh, we're using scary, scary intentions out here. It's led us to the middle of nowhere. Looks like we're gonna make right here and it's gonna be down on the right. Treacherous terrain. Treacherous terrain is the intention. Okay, here's a few buildings. Maybe we're getting back to civilization over here. And it's me to turn right and then left. If I turn right there, I can't turn left in there, right? Mm -hmm. What is that? That's like an old, old That looks drum. apocalyptic, doesn't it? I think that's an old oil drum or water. That's where it wants me to go. Uh -huh. Listen, here, switch seats with me, mm -hmm. but just stay here in the vehicle, okay? It's pretty dead over here. Somebody pulls up behind you. You just say that your husband's in her urban photographer and he's taking some pictures <clears throat> or tell him the truth it doesn't matter I'm not doing anything wrong I don't think treacherous terrain Alicia get in lock it we got a big old brick wall protecting this place and a crazy ass security fence here I guess this could be treacherous terrain just looking at it. There's a tire. That's our symbol of, that's our symbolicness that we're going to find something. Whoa, look at that. Oh, what is this? Hello? Flammable material. Hello? All right. Let's close that back up. I'm sorry. Wow. Somebody's shoes right there. Bunch of tires. Oh my God. This looks like an apocalyptic wasteland, guys. An apocalyptic wasteland. Holy shit. Wow. This is crazy. What the hell is that thing? I can't believe we're starting out like this. We've been blessed on, uh, on, on this video and the last video and the last video. I ended up at a um, old abandoned some type of school.
in here, oh, I don't know what this is. Looks apocalyptic. Very cool. If you're new to the channel, I always like to tell people, you know, give them an idea of what we're doing. Because there are a lot of new people to the channel. And if you were to just land on this video, you might not understand what's going on, even though you might find it cool. There's a bunch of nails. I'm a scary treasure hunter. I use an app called Randonautica. I use my own app called Scaranoia app. It's very similar to geocaching, uh, but the way these apps are different. The way this works is we, we come up with an intention, uh, like this one, treacherous terrain was the intent. We hit generate on the app, it gives us a location, and we go to that location and we try and make heads or, tail, heads or tails of, um, by investigating, you know, did we find our intent? Does anything make a connection to our intent? Um, treacherous terrain, I mean, this looks pretty, you know, if you came walking through here at night, if you were passing through here, of course, I don't know who would because this is surrounded by nothing, but, uh, this is pretty dangerous looking. It is an absolute wasteland at this point. And that said, I could spend all day here. I love this. I love places like this that just ha look creepy, have a vibe. Hello? Anytime I see somewhere that somebody could use as shelter, I, I think about homeless people and they may need a place to stay. So there could be, there could be a homeless person in there, which good on them, you know, get out of the, get out of the rain, get out of the weather. Holy mackerel. Even goes back here. I don't really want to go back here. I'm stepping on glass every step I take, guys. I'm scared of heights, so I doubt that I'm going to go up there. Hello? You know, you have to be careful at places like this because not only do you have um you know to worry about things like maybe there could be a sinkhole here there could be a reason this place is shut down nuclear waste or something like that uh you know you have to worry about things like that you have to worry about animals and snakes making this their home this is probably home to a giant anaconda of some sort hello yeah i don't think anybody's staying in that Oh, Ooh, yeah, nobody's staying in here. Good golly, Miss Molly. Wow, that looks vicious. Every step I take, I'm stepping on something dangerous. Glass or nails, bolts, whatever. See, look at this. These are these are just everywhere. Whoa. Listen to how quiet it is. It's got a vibe, man. Oh, yo. What? Hello? Hello?
You know there's snakes hiding in here to stay warm right now, guys. Hello? Somebody took the time to draw a pentagram there. And write their name, I guess, Noodle. Is there anything spiritual here? Box. Oh, whoa. Love. It's the worst thing I've ever done. I broke me down to nothing. Now I still have this empty hole where my heart still tries to bout to beat if I could ever have carried you on a broken back and blown out fumes I would have you did nothing but leave me with this empty shell I what the hell out of body I long for death that sounds like something that the stalker would write Something felt like it just moved there. Could have swore I just seen somebody over there. Couldn't have been. Hopefully not. Damn. This looks really dangerous. I'm not gonna try that. I put myself in some bad situations, but I definitely should just avoid that one. It's like a bunch of paint cans, a bunch of barrels. Hopefully, I was just joking about there being nuclear waste here, or let alone, you know, it's just spitballing, but hopefully, uh, that's not the case. a bunch of garbage and a bunch of junk. Hey, big points on the board for Randonautica though because, you know, there'd be no way to know that something like this exists. I, I highly doubt that this is a famous urbex spot. Even though I think that the intention is just the property itself, the place itself, treacherous terrain, I'm still hell bent on finding some kind of item that, you know, maybe gives more depth to that. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty dangerous though because. There's all kinds of possibly, you know, chemicals just scattered out. There's glass and nails and I'm sure there's some pretty dangerous reptiles lurking here. I want to see what this is about. I love places like this that, that Rando or My App Scaranoia produces and gives you an opportunity to really have a chance to explore and 
you know, it has more depth than just a parking lot or behind a building. These kind of places right here are gyms. This would be a great scene for a zombie movie. I've always wanted to make a zombie movie and even I've had a handful of people reach out to me and say, Jody, you should do your next movie. You should make a zombie movie. I'd love to do that, guys. I really would. They're just so, so much work. And uh, I kind of just need to focus on Mallet and this other supernatural film that I want to do. Which makes a lot of sense. Oh, my God. Maybe one day I could I could do that though. I would love to uh, love to do a zombie film here one day. Ah oh, fuck man! I don't know why people gotta take it there. It's a creepy smiley face over there. Kind of little road some money made through here. I'm always looking and listening for some paranormal stuff to happen. <laughs> That's what I would like to see happen in a place like this. But as my last video showed, we ended up in a really creepy school. And you would have swore up and down it was haunted. And, may and maybe it is, but I spent quite a while there and only captured really two EVPs. Looks like this is just all junk. Yeah, it truly is a wasteland. I wasn't even kidding. I was just really hoping that maybe there might be like some kind of like crazy object or experience or maybe a symbol a sign of something that would be that scary scary of course for a lot of people this would be it because a lot of people if you came here by yourself like how I am right now you'd be you'd be absolutely terrified A lot of garbage to clean up. I've been hearing that, uh, oh, it just got lower, lighter, went away. Been hearing that police siren for a while now.
Wanted to find something explosive and a scary, scary aspect. Wow. You know, I've ended up at places like this before. Um, you know, when you hear that they're haunted, instantly you look at something like this and you're like, I, I have found that scary, scary. When you end up at places like this and they don't have a story or you don't know that they're haunted or whatever, um, you have to try and find some kind of connection. Why is this place demolished? Why is it abandoned? Why does it look like it's been left for dead in the middle of nowhere? Why tear it down? I mean, there's a lot of brick there. It obviously was a strong structure. They tore it down for a reason. Did the plant cause harm? Was it bombed? Is it an earthquake? You know? Everything has a story. As a scary treasure hunter, that's where my mind's at. Is what's the story here? Why? I love it though. Really cool place. I could totally see, you know, a zombie scene unfolding here. Now, even though I don't have time to make a zombie movie or the kind of budget I'd like to have if, if I were going to do that, if I were going to make a zombie movie, I would at least want to be able to invest $1 million at least. Um, and that would be with me um, leading in special effects makeup and, and hiring about 15 people to work under me. But uh, I could make a short film in a place like this and probably get away with it you know short films are like well on paper they're like five to forty minutes long but the kind of short films that I like are like five to ten minutes long and somebody has five or ten minutes to to sell a whole story that makes it more intense if the person knows what they're doing I could probably pull off something like that. That would be pretty cool. What is that? Oh, it's over there too. It's just a big old, it's carpet. I thought it was a big old plushie or something. Yeah, I could so see something cool being made here. It'd be a shame to not do it these are the kind of places that movie studios you know try and get on their radar all right hopefully uh hopefully alicia has the next location for us you got the next uh next location okay Something that doesn't exist, right? Is that the one we were rolling with? Something that doesn't exist? Okay. All right, uh, film straight for me one second. Let me put my belt on. Then I'll put my belt on after. That was really, really cool. Anybody come by? It's dead. It's really dead, huh? Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, just keep your phone turned towards me. Okay. Well, it was an awesome experience, an awesome place to check out. I'd love to make a zombie film here, but I told them I, I wouldn't be able to do that. It's just too big of a production. Could probably get away with making a, um, a short film here. Perfect place to do such a thing. Something that doesn't exist. I haven't even caught my breath and we're heading to the next one. It does, doesn't it? Wow. All right. Turn right? Yeah. Wow, it looks creepy all around here. There's just not much over here. It's day and 
Yeah. Okay. Turn right. What's that? Something sketchy. Uh, first left that comes up. Something that doesn't exist. This one should be interesting. And turn here. I would say uh, that I just found treacherous terrain Whoa, they easily. Fly, yeah, they are. I guess when you're in the middle of nowhere, you ain't got to worry about you know people being on your ass. You can probably get away with a lot more. Oh, it looks like this is the city up here. Then what do we do? Make a left in one uh, second. Left right here. Right here? Yeah, keep creeping. Keep creeping. Okay. Right here. Okay. Yeah, go straight. Just wave in. Okay. This way? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Looks like it's like 50 feet out. It's not far, but I'd have to get over that. You can't do that. I don't think I can. No hmm. way. Let me get out and look at it real quick. 50 feet? Uh, I would keep your window rolled down to listen for me. 50 feet's not far. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Where's my phone? Right there in the middle. Yeah, let me bring that just in case. I might call you. Keep you on there with me. Are you coming around? Okay. This looks apocalyptic too. Jesus. If I were going to do a zombie movie, I found all my locations. Yeah, I'm not trying to go through this to hop that. I don't mind to hop it. I just know that if those snakes are trying to get warm, they're probably huddled up against that. What if I can walk down here and go around? I'm going to see if I can go around down here. Just please stay right there so you can see me, just in case. And she moves the truck. I love that girl, but I think she was a blonde in a past life. Nothing wrong with blondes. I've had a lot of them. Actually, my natural hair color is blonde. I say natural, I mean, I don't dye my hair, so that sounded weird. <laughs> my natural hair color is blonde. It's such a manly thing to say. My natural hair color is blonde. It's so blonde. Yo, it's blonde like a magic wand. I rolled down my window and say, would you like some great poupon? She like, this is my teddy daddy. Would you like me to put it on? I'm like, girl, the way I be sticking, you can call me Pokemon. And I would like to peek at you, sneak or two. She like, oh my God, would you like a freak or two? Hi, Alicia. Hi. Hello. I'm getting fired up. All right, I'm on the other side. Hi. Hi, what's your name, girl? I like your truck. Would you like to ride around with me in your truck? All right. It's like, boy, hell no, nah. I ain't trying to mess with you. See, if I would've jumped over right there, I would've had to jump over there. Hell no. Nah. There might be a snake up under there. Oh, this is a lot. It's a lot of ground. Something that doesn't exist. Well, a building on the property? 
Um, huh. Let's take a look around. There's a big old pipe thing just standing right there. It looks like a T. Hmm. Let's take a looky around the cookie, shall we? Guys, I'm announcing my new album at the end of a new music video that I will be dropping in December. So, keep an eye out for a new music video in December. And uh, make sure when that new album date is announced that you, you put it on your calendars, you lock it in your phone. I'm only going to have a certain amount of physical copies for sale. They will all be signed and when they sell out, it's sold out and you will have to, uh, you'll only be able to get a digital download copy of the album once it's sold out. So I don't know what the number of physical copies is going to be yet, but it's not going to be much. It's not going to be much. Um, I want people that really would like an album. It's going to be all original music. You guys have not heard. I think you might have heard one song if you were a patron or if you were in my last live stream. One song from it. The whole album is written. It's all produced, recorded, mixed, and mastered by me. It is a work of art. It all follows a theme. The album is called Truth of Darkness. And it's the most different thing I've ever done. It's rap, it's rock, it's emo, it's hip hop, it's rap, it's fucking gnarly. You guys will love it. Um, and when you see that music video, I think you'll have a good idea of the style to expect. So, I'm really excited about it because, uh, well, I haven't dropped a, a, an entire album in a long time. I've talked about it. I've made albums that I haven't dropped. And uh, I think the reason I didn't drop them is because I just knew I could do something so much better. And finally, I'm halfway through this new album and I can say that I cannot wait to put it out. I'm beyond proud of it. It's a masterpiece for as, as far as something I could create. So... Yeah, I'm excited. Whoa, why does this look crazy too? This whole area over here is like apocalyptic looking. Shit, I'm kinda scared, bro. I'm kinda scared. I'm by myself. I'm out of view. Let me at least call her real quick so she's on the horn. Come on, Alicia. Hello? Hey, just stay on here with me real quick. This is what I'm walking into. What is that? I have no idea. Oh my God. Yeah, this is sketchy. Dude, that looks dangerous. For sure. I don't know how far I'm gonna go into this. I just wanted to at least have you on here while I'm, I'm looking. Where is that? Um, close to where I just was. Something that doesn't exist. I, I don't know if I'm making the connection or not. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of, you know, ruins type stuff. Wood. The area itself kind of smells like blood. A lot of blood. Yeah, it feels dangerous. There's a tire though, that must mean I'm going to find something. Alright, I'm out of that spot right now. See, it was back around this little nook here. But, uh, you, I should be back in your view now. Tell me if you can see me. No. No? No. Oh wait, 
I can see you. Okay, all right, I'm letting you go. All right, all right bye. Oh, what is that? Something metal. Mm, it's nothing. I don't know what it is. <gasps> yo, 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 yo! What is that? It's like an old time radio, bro. Antenna's broken on it. Sounds like it's broken. It's broken right there. <gasps> Kmart! Wait, I don't think there's Kmarts no more, right? Something that don't exist, it could be Kmart. I don't care, that's cool as shit. Kmart Corporation. This receiver complies with FCC requirements. Made in Hong Kong. Dude, that is so cool looking. I might actually hold on to this. Kmart. Dude, I used to love... I worked at Kmart when I was a teenager. It's very short-lived. It was for like three months. But, uh... No, it was six months. But I actually really enjoyed it. And uh, I, I did every job you can imagine. I was a cashier. I put bikes together. I stocked shelves. Uh, I worked the forklift and I wasn't supposed to. They could have gotten in trouble or shut down for letting me do it, but I did it some days. I would just hop on there and do it real quick. If it had to be done. Um, and then, <laughs> Some girl that worked there that I was dating, I didn't realize, what the fuck is that? I just heard somebody move back there. Some girl that I was dating there, that was very short lived as well. <laughs> um, Her boyfriend comes in one day. I didn't know she had a boyfriend. And him and I got into it right in the front of Kmart and I got fired because I beat the shit out of him whenever he got in my face. I think he thought because that was my job and I was cashiering there that he would come through the line and, and you know, talk all kinds of shit to me and that was going to be it. But I, uh, it was a really bad fight and, and yeah, I even felt bad about it. Like I felt bad about how, I felt bad that not only was I seeing this girl's this guy's girlfriend, which I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. She failed to mention that. But I felt bad that he got his butt kicked on top of it. Uh, but I was like 16, 17 years old. I was trying to go legit and, and trying to, you know, live better. I ain't stepping in that mud. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. I did enjoy Kmart. I can't believe we found something from Kmart. This has to be like 70s or 80s, right? I do not think Kmarts exist. I'm gonna have Alicia look that up right now. I think they're done. I found something. I found something really cool. Oh, you found me? You found me. I found you. Hey girl, would you like to be my boo? One plus one, that equals two. That means me, and that means you. Hey, I found this cool old radio, but check it out. Something that doesn't exist. It says Kmart. Here, let me hold it. On, Pull up your pants. Yeah, yeah, the pants are falling down. Johnson's swinging. Um, it says Kmart, Kmart where? right there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Kmart's exist no more. And that might not be our intent. There might have been something else here, but I mean, you just got to find a connection. You don't have to be you precise. Do you think it works? I don't think so. It sounds like it's broken if you shake it. Oh. But still cool. I'd like to turn that into like a spirit box or something. If I have my plug-in adapter, we'll plug it in. All right. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Bye.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, how long have we been filming? Uh, almost 40 minutes, 39 minutes and 42 seconds. Guys, I think what I'm gonna do, I need some coffee. I don't have my adapter. Um, oh, you were gonna try and plug it in? I was gonna plug it in. Dude, wait, wait, wait. We'll see if she finds this adapter real quick. I don't have it. You don't think so? No. All right, well, if we, if we find it, we'll see if this thing works together, but I think I need some coffee. Coffee Yeah. Um, I'll come back online here shortly guys, but so far we found an abandoned building that is just shattered decimated ready to go to the dump um, and we found an item that uh, Somehow has survived the test of time and says Kmart on it for our intent something that doesn't exist okay, Make a left here Looks like we go down and make a left right What, you see something? Uh, just paranoid. Oh. Stop being paranoid. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> All right. Um, your turn's coming up. Right here? Okay. Intention stalk the stalker. This is coming in from a lot of people. So many people have suggested this. Stalk the stalker. This looks like a place a stalker would be, doesn't it? Here, let's do this. I will park right here. And with the intention being this, should I look for an item or should I just look for a stalker? Both. <laughs> yeah? Stalk the stalker. We should have used a double intent. You know, sometimes when we do that, What, that over there? Yeah. All right, stalk the stalker. Oh, this is a cool looking place. Wouldn't that be something if it brought us right to their headquarters? Huh? No more worries. It's all over, guys. We found them. old train track right there look at that wow used to run straight through this town I guess it's funny that Alicia knows me so good she was like look that make a good skateboard ramp I put down a board a while back I skated all the way from the time I was a kid up until a few years ago whenever I gashed my elbow open and I was like, oh, it's probably time to hang it up. And garbage is like everywhere else. I don't see anything. I just heard something move. Dude, I just heard something fucking move. I just heard something move. There's something moving there. Oh shit, there's something moving. The fuck is that? Hold on, I'm gonna call Alicia, guys. I'm gonna call Alicia. Hold on. I'm gonna call Alicia. Oh, fuck. Come on. 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 Fuck. Come on. Hello. Hey, hey, keep your eyes open. There's somebody moving in something black. I don't see nobody. 
I'm here, bitch. Sounds like an org message. I'm trying to listen. Yo, what the fuck is that? Dude, look at that. What am I looking at? I don't see anything. What the fuck? Bro. Did you just hear that? Sounds like a fucking velociraptor dying. What the fuck is that, dude? Where's it coming from? Dude, why is he moving like that? Yo, you stay away from me. Why is he... Dude... He's just staring at me. He's just fucking staring. Bro. Yo, I just stumbled across something crazy back here, Alicia. Look. I wonder if this is their little hideout. The hell? Yo, you see that? That's like a fort. Dude, I wonder if this is the one that they... Mass said that they took his tongue out or something. Yeah, mass. There was remember the one that the the cult person that would come up, and he would, yep. and they were they were, they were like, like making a weird noises. That I think that's him, dude. Hold on, I see something back here. I want to check out real quick. Dude, he's fucking tiptoeing like a little creeper. Isn't that crazy? Bro, what the fuck? Black Jesus, red mask, slim T, teddy bear stealth. Huh? Just, just come back to the car. Hold on, I'm seeing what this is real quick. Condemned. I wonder if this is their hangout, bro. That's why I'm still going, Alicia. Please be careful. Oh my God. Dude, I bet this is where they hang out. What is that noise? That's him. Dude, that's him. What the fuck? Here, come on. Yo, you're getting too close. Dude, why is he sounding like that? Here, just keep your eyes open. I'm gonna let you go. All right. Bye. All right. Fuck. Are you with the org? Yeah, I guess that's a yeah. Mass told me a story about some guy in the org that talks like this. Are you the one we dealt with? Hey, no, 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 no. Stay away from me. He said that they took his tongue. Is that you? Why is he looking like that? Bro. What do you want? What the, what'd you say? He said, Yasko! Well, Yasko's done with the random Nautica shit. You guys need to cut the shit. He's not coming back. He's happy doing whatever it is he's doing. Yeah, yeah, me, I know. Oh, trust me, I know you're not going to leave me alone. What, did Mass decide to take a day off? I guess that's a yeah. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. The creepiest shit I've ever seen, bro. 
You know it's not Halloween no more. I get you guys all have your own theme, dude, but this is this is a little out of the box. Do not run towards me. Do not run towards me. Fuck. What the fuck. What the fuck. The hell is he doing? Are you taking a shit? What was he doing back here? That is the same one. He, he just pointed at me and said, demon. I guess you gotta be a psycho in order to. What the hell is that? I guess you gotta be a psycho nut job in order to get in the org. Why are you doing this? They told you to do this? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting out of here. It sounds like he's dying. Dude, it sounds like he's dying. Max was telling me that there was this guy that told on them and for doing that, that they took his you know what? His tongue. Oh. And that he talks a certain way now. Don't look at it, just keep going. Oh my god, go! Whoa! Well, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard not to look at it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna have to change up areas. I don't wanna deal with that all day. Jesus, that'll make it. That made me crazy. We are, uh, yeah, wow, well, we're down to 4%, guys. Okay, all right. Let's get out of this neck of the woods here. And uh, I only got to film for 12 minutes there, dude. He messed that up. Well, then again, I don't know. Uh, stalk the stalker. How the hell do they know? Let me ask you a question. Did the app glitch as soon as you... As soon as you got the location, did it, it glitch? It froze for a second. It then, froze. Okay, yeah. so they, they hacked it at that very moment. That's what they do. All right, guys, we'll come back online here in a second. Jesus Christ. Turn left? Yes. Okay. And then turn right. All right. All right, guys. There's a white car. I'm going this way. Oh. Um, we left one sketchy area to end up. In another sketchy area. In another sketchy area. I actually have no idea where we are right now. It's I was going to say it looks like it's coming up. It's going to be a left, a right, and it looks like it's surrounded by woods, whatever it is. A storage place? Huh. Something terrifying in the woods is the intent. Huh? Yeah, dead bodies for sure. It says go straight There's and then make a right. Nuh uh. There's a foot. Well, you scared the fuck out of me, Alicia. What do you mean? There's a boot. Oh a my god. A, a foot and a boot are two different things, okay? You don't fucking say stuff like that. God. I just peed a little. 
There's a big ass hole right here. Fuck. I hope we don't go in that. Oh, 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 oh my god. god. Okay, okay, okay. All right. There's a bucket down there. You start carrying a piece of plywood in the back of your truck. For what? So if oh, if we stuck, run across something like that? And then we can put the plywood like by the tires so we can get out. Okay, That's something fine. terrifying in the woods. This is terrifying. Oh! <gasps> this open area right here, there's gonna be something ah. there. What? I don't know, touch your butt. There's some stuff right there. Hmm. God, I hope that thing doesn't show up again. We're good. Let's go. What? Let's go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get out and look. So what we do, we look for that scary scary. You can't find it and say, oh, no, this ain't my cup of tea. That's like saying, let's go bungee jumping. And then when you get up there, you just be like, uh, is there any other way we can do this? Is there like an elevator or something? <laughs> oh, holy garbage. Ew. 50,000 likes. 50,000. Don't make me do it. I'll come back here. All right. Even for 50,000 likes, I wouldn't do that. Whoa. There's a vibe here, bro. Right here by these storage units, there's a, a, a beautiful open area surrounded by woods. Like a little 22 pop. Ten points right here in the middle. What was that? I don't see anything here. A bunch of gopher holes. Hello? I don't know why I'm saying hello. Is there anybody here that wants to scare me? Give me a heads up. Where you pop out and go woo. Of course, that wouldn't scare me if somebody popped out and went woo. <laughs> That'd be the most unscary thing somebody could do. Can you imagine that? Somebody just pops out right now and then, like a woo. I'm like, oh, that's cute. Look at that. It's like all rocky and shit. Like a little mountain. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to work my way up there. No, 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 I'm not. Woo! I feel like if I did walk up there, I might would find something though. Whoa, what is that? <gasps> Yo, what? The hell? Bro, there's two candles. There's a witch symbol right here. There's a knife. And there's a little... Is there anything in that? I really don't want to touch that. If somebody used this... It doesn't look like they used it. It looks like they're they're setting it up to come back here. 
Because what would happen I just heard something over there As I'm talking about somebody coming back here It looks like somebody's getting ready to do something with this Those candles have not been lit That jar has nothing in it I'm guessing that they're going to use that knife, which that's a bad knife, to um, get some blood somehow to put into that jar. And they're going to use this symbol to conjure something. And before they light those candles, they're probably going to rub their energy into those candles. And they're going to summon something right here. And... Whenever they put whatever they're going to put in that jar, I'm assuming that they're going to put blood in there. That's going to be used for many other things. That is scary. Something terrifying in the woods, that terrifies me, even though it looks like they haven't done whatever they're going to do yet. But now this makes me wonder, is this an area... A breeding ground for for black magic because this is black magic this is not good magic there is no reason at all to use this symbol red candles and have a knife for anything good the reason they even use red candles for for, for what they're trying to do here is because it represents the blood of the sacrifice that is terrifying. That scares the shit out of me. Somebody set this up, dude. Somebody's coming back here, I'm telling you. Here, let me take a picture of this real quick. I'm gonna... This video doesn't come out... I think until Saturday. I think I have the video... Um, where Black Jesus showed up coming out next. And this video will come out Saturday. So let me. Yeah, that's that's creepy. Holy shit. Okay. Dude. Now you know what? Hold on. It makes me wonder if we use the spirit talker here, if any responses will come through for anything that's been summoned here in the past. There could be, this could be a summoning ground. Let's see, hold on. Turn it up. Is there anything that has been conjured here, here right now? It looks like there's a Dollar General or something over there. So there's a lot of people getting in and out. Robinson. What the hell was that? Who is Robinson? walk around here they probably didn't do it in the same place twice this looks like some witchy woods right here Steven Steven Robinson Robinson Steven Two names immediately. Steven Robinson. I think we found our intent here, guys. Um, we're probably good to go ahead and move on. 
but my curiosity has me right now. Somebody knows what they're doing. Somebody set this up and they're coming back. That all looks like it was just placed there possibly like this morning or yesterday. I haven't been keeping track of the moons, but there might be like a certain moon coming about that they're waiting for to do this ritual. I know a lot of you guys are like, what the hell? How does he know so much about this stuff? I, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, I'll just say that I know a lot about witchcraft and whatever they're doing here is not good. Whatever they're going to do is not good. Just the intention of lo alone of what they're planning to do, call out. That's what this person's going to do. They're going to call out to the dark forces. And they're going to tie them to the blood they're going to put in that thing. And they're going to try and use that for bad. It's all good. You know what? Let's get out of here. Fuck it. I don't care what they're doing. They can have it. I'm nervous just being here right now. Well, that's the scariest thing we found all day. Hey, there's a bunch of witchcraft shit over there. Witchcraft? So, yeah, somebody's got it set up to do like some heavy duty like summoning. And it's dark too. It's not like anything. It ain't no good magic or anything like that. Dark magic. Yeah, it's definitely dark, dark magic. magic and there, there is good magic. There is dark know. magic. Everybody's got their own cup of tea and that cup of tea needs to stay over yonder. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's why I just said I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this. Uh, did you get our next location up? Okay. It's 15 minutes that way. So no, the app just changed. Look, 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 look. look. Hold on. Here, I'll hold it. I'll navigate us. Um, did you use the paranormal intent for that one? Well, I was just going right to the street. I didn't switch the light. It was just hmm. All right, spiritual entity, guys. It looks like it's actually, it just looks like it's just right up here. Spiritual entity, hold on. There's a road by a gas station. That's not what it looks like. Yeah, this right here. Looks like we're gonna make a right and it's gonna be on our left. Did I say 20 feet off the road? That's it, that's it right there. There's a house. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Is it bullet holes through the window? Spiritual entity. This is it. I'm not going to try and go inside, but I'm going to walk around and film this. Wow, look how close that was to the witchcraft thing. I wonder if this area right here is known for Satanism, dark magic, and hauntings. Spiritual entity hitting immediately right here. Look at this. Wow. Where the hell did we land? Are we in paranormal world here today? Somebody's over there in a white truck just looking at me. Oh, somebody broke the window. This is not even two blocks away from It's not even two or three blocks away from where the witch stuff was. Hello? It's going to be interesting to see what else we find where we are right now. Uh, we did not plan on staying here in this area. We were just passing through, but now I want to skip a few intentions, uh, find something scary, scary, 
get us up another location and see what happens here. But between the witchcraft, uh, the witchcraft stuff found, this weird truck approaching right now, this house behind us that has this creepy, creepy vibe, um, it does have me wondering what else is going to produce here in this area. Guys, just when you thought things couldn't get no worse, when you thought things couldn't get no more sketchier. That was the longest dirt road. That was down. definitely the longest clay dirt road I've ever been down in my life. You're and turn right here. Right here, and the left. first right and wrong turn. If you go left, you die. You go right, you die. Another dirt road. <sighs> oh, shit, really? Bad idea. All right, I've said this before. This time I mean it. If they're further than 15 minutes away, we're just not doing them. Where the fuck are we guys? Intention haunting history. Yeah, they got a big strong fence to keep some people out of there. I wonder why. What does that sign say? Oh, I don't know. Uh, no camping. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we're just dying to come out here and camp in the middle of nowhere. I see another sign down there. And there's a oh thing. shit, I don't think we're gonna be able to get through it. There's a big hole of water. Fuck. You think I can go to the left around it maybe, somewhat? Shit, I don't. Uh, we need a bigger truck. Bigger truck? I don't think it gets big. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, if I get stuck out here, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. Looks like the end tent is. There's another hole. <sighs> is that 75 feet ahead? That's not far. Whoa. Yeah, this looks like the average place we end up. Jesus Christ. Okay, um. What is that? Is that a bridge? It's a bridge. Can't drive through it. Notice. Southern nuclear. What the what? fuck? Yeah, it says nuclear at the top of that sign. Haunting history. Haunting it's gonna be it's gonna be us if I die. Lock it. I'm going to be haunting history. Well, it's kind of pretty. Whoa. What was that over there? There's some ruins over there. Here, let's... Oh, no, let's go to the pinpoint first. Like, wait. Why is there red on that tree like that? Hmm. Maybe we will check over here first. This is all within the vicinity of the pinpoint anyway. I'm a little bit uh, rattled because we went down this long, long clay dirt road that I thought we were going to get stuck on. And I started saying to her, if we get stuck out here... We're fucked because I don't, for one, I don't know where we are. Our internet's going in and out. And two, um, somebody's probably going to kill us before the damn tow truck people find us. It says something on there. I can't make it out really. P A Y S something. T or I. Got some numbers. Let's say right there. Vanessa loves Max. That's sweet. Oh, there's a tire. Means we're gonna find something. So far today, man, it's been a wild adventure. I think you guys can agree with that. Um, started out in the middle of nowhere, wrong turn type shit. Ending up here at wrong turn type shit. Um, <clears throat> found, what is that? It's like some metal planks going up under this root. Started out at what looked like a wasteland, an apocalyptic wasteland. Um, then we found some old radio from Kmart. Tell me how the hell that happens. And another sketchy looking area. 
Then we find some witchcraft setting where something dark is about to take place. I'm gonna check this way first, guys. Haunting history, I'm assuming that's going to be whatever those markers are there. There's some kind of history markers. So let's work our way from the outside end. Look at that. Somebody should come out here and put a picture in there, a picture frame. Um, then found that little abandoned house that looks like somebody's rehabbing it, but there could be some paranormal activity going on there. And now we are here, intention haunting history. And I see some historic markers over there, but I also feel like these grounds here have a story. Or hopefully something I can find. We were not even going to use the apps today. And by the way, we're on Scaranoia app now. Uh, we switched it up. Usually I'll do Randonautica, Scaranoia app, Randonautica, Scaranoia app. I did all Randonautica today. And for the first time today, I'm using Scaranoia app. So. Oh. There's a beautiful stream right there. There's like a little trail. I don't want to see what's down here. But we weren't going to use any of the apps today. Uh, we were just going to go in dry and drive around and, and try and find some cool places. And um, just, you know, still use Intense, but see if we can find anything without using the apps. Because once we use the apps, the problem is, is... Um, once we use the app, you know, the hackers, trackers, and stalkers, whatever the hell they are, they find out where we are, and uh, and then we're screwed. You know, they show up there, but this is, this is cool, but sketchy, a little scary. This path goes back through here. What am I doing, though? I'm just walking it like it ain't nothing. Good Lord. Oh man, I'm, I'm great at making bad decisions. I'm good at making bad mistakes. Oh man. Looks like it's just a, a pathway that has other pathways into this creek. What are people doing in this creek though? You can't canoe down it. You can't you can't boat down it. Um Let me call Alicia just in case something bad happens. Of course, this is not the pinpoint area, so if something bad was going to happen, they would have to follow me into this way. Hello? Hey, I just want to keep you on here for a second. Um I'm in a pretty looking area, but it's off the beaten path. And I just wanted to make sure that I'm, uh, if anything happens to me over here, that you're, you're aware of it. Whoa. That water? Yeah. Yeah, I think you would appreciate this for sure. Um, whoa. I'm going to do my best not to fall anywhere. How deep do you think that is? It's not deep at all. Maybe uh, a few inches or a foot right there in the middle, but... Yeah. Haunting history. Uh, this looks like an area where it would have some history. Is it a haunting... You know, who knows? So, um, here, let me show you. Going back up. I don't know if I want to keep going. I don't know. I mean, what happens if you get bit? 
bit by something and I can't get to you. Well, that's why I called you. Or I could drop off or you could be hundred like percent. I mean, this does not look safe at all. It's the skinniest path I've ever come across in my life. Yeah, that's sketchy. Um, and I'm out of the pinpoint now. I'm out of the pinpoint radius, so. All right, um, just stay on here with me for a second. It looks like it continues to go down quite far. Well, don't chance it because. Yeah. I see on the map here. No, I know. I want to find our intent, but I just thought maybe there might be, you know, some kind of symbols or something that would be around here that would lead me to believe that this area could be haunted other than whatever those historic markers are. Because I'm guessing what's going to happen is I'm going to get up there and it's going to have some story about that bridge that looks like it's roped off. Yeah, not as sketchy. It's pretty, but it's pretty sketchy too. <laughs> All right, I am coming back up now. All right, uh, I'm out of this area. You'll see me in a second, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. All right, let's go see what this bridge is about. If there's some kind of ghost story about it or something, then we'll have to uh, turn on the spirit talker. I hope I can get through that gate. It looks like there's a gate. There's a haunted bridge in Helen, Georgia that I'm in love with. I can't wait to go back there. Whoa. But it, uh, it has some paranormal activity and I, I, I documented some there. It's on the channel. It's probably like 50 videos ago, but Maybe more, but it definitely produced. My memory's bad when it comes to remembering the stories about these places, but I think the, the bridge that I'm speaking about in Helen, uh, they say that you can hear a baby crying, that somebody's, this woman's baby was chucked off this bridge and uh the baby was killed and they say that uh you can hear that mother crying there for her baby and sometimes you can hear the baby crying oh this is pretty oh whoa all right Shit, this goes up under the bridge. That might be the next best thing. Let's see what's up here real quick. And then we'll come back to that if we have to. I'm hoping I can actually go on the bridge. Oh shit, there's the historic markers over there. Fuck. Um, you know what? Huh. I think Randonautica, of course we're using Scaranoia, but I think Randonautica might have brought us here one time on that side because now I'm looking at this. This looks familiar, especially that area over there. Didn't know that. I don't even know where we are right now, so. Whoa. Holy shit. Bro. Hello? Is there anything here? Are there any spirits here? Is 
This won't open, right? Shit. Nineteen fifty-eight, July twelfth, nineteen fifty-eight, right there. Wow, dude, this is scary. C. Wait, what is that? I don't know. There's something written right there. Yo. Let's go read real quick about this and then maybe we can go up under. Haunting history. You know guys, in that last video, I think you guys know I shoot it to you straight. As straight as it can be shot. Um, in that last video, we ended up at a place, creepy school. And I told you guys all the way through, I didn't feel anything paranormal. I've done enough places to know. Here I feel a vibe. There's an energy. Uh, Kohili Creek Covered Bridge. According to the May 2nd, 1883 minutes of the Early County Board of Commissioners, a commission was appointed to inquire into the practicability of constructing a bridge across Kohili Creek at McDonald Ford. However, the construction contract was not let until July 7th, 1891, cost of labor and supplies totaled $490.41. Wait, this bridge cost 500 bucks to make? That's insane. That's insane. It'll cost you 500 bucks now just to, 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 to do a few feet of, uh, <laughs> of flooring here. Uh, with J.W. Bauman serving as supervisor and W.C. Sheffield chairman of the 1891 commissioners erected by the historic Chattahoochee Commission and the Early County Historical Society in 1980. Fanny Askew, <laughs> Fanny Ass, uh, Fanny Askew Williams Park the Fanny Askew Williams Park, a picnic area adjacent to Kohili Creek covered bridge and old river road is maintained by the early county board of commissioners. The land was made available to the county in 1959 by the late John H. Williams of Blakely and bears the name of his first wife, the Peter Early Chapter. Dar serves as custodian of the park. Interesting uh, history. Uh, hey, our intention was a hi historic hauntings. So, all right, there's more there if you guys want to stop it and read all that. Um, I don't want to be here giving history lessons. I just want to find a haunting. Obviously, this is a historic bridge, a historic area. Let's see if we can actually find some spirit communication i'm here for that scary scary i i never went back to school because i hate school so <laughs> i believe it's for some people it just wasn't for me oh my god this is so pretty wow let me call her and tell her. Hello? Hey, listen, you may want to grab the gun out of the middle, put it in your purse, Why? lock the vehicle up, and, and start taking a look around at the bridge on top and, and at the creek over to the right here. Uh, this is beautiful. You'll love it. I'm going to spend a few moments under the bridge, but you should definitely get out and check it out. Okay. Or come to where I am if you want to, okay? <laughs> All right. All right. I love you. Wow. Yeah, if I was a spirit, I would hang out here. Speaking of Helen, this reminds me of Helen. You see this going through the entire... 
district of Helen. Oh, there's a snake skin. There's a snake skin right there. Wow. This is, uh, this is something else. And this rock is very slick too. I want to take my time walking on it. Oh shit, hold on. Look at that. Look what we got coming in. Hello? Hello? My day just got ruined. What do you want? Huh? Yeah, you got me. I'm under the bridge. What do you want? Uh huh, huh? Do what? Watch out. Watch out. Is that what it said? Watch out. All right. Is that what it said? That's what I refer to him now as is the what, the thing. Uh, Brook and Finn, Trey, Steph, and Matt. People riding their cutesy wootsy little shit under here. Dude, I want to get up there so bad. I want on there. I'm sure that it's blocked off because it's probably severely dangerous. Let's uh, let's run the spirit thing here real quick. Uh, spirit talker. Whoa. Yeah. What? Hey. Yeah. I just seen Stalker Boy on the other side of that bridge. On the other side? Yes. So when you're like this way, yeah. to the left up, he's right in between those bushes right there. Okay. Fuck. I'm All right. Well, listen. I I I'm under the bridge. I'm gonna try and ignore him the best I can. I want to do this real quick because. I feel like I might get some kind of good responses. Uh, just keep an eye out. If you see him get closer or come on this side, let me know. But I don't think he can come start across. Honking. Okay, yeah, start honking. Thank you. I'll start honking. All right, I love, I love you. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you're kidding me. He's here to ruin my day? No way. That would never happen. Yeah, he doesn't do that kind of stuff. Is there anything spiritual here at this bridge? I feel something. I feel something here. I'm going to get off from underneath this bridge. I, I got a really bad uh, feeling about being right here. Hello? Is there something here that would like to communicate? I feel like I need to be on there. You don't have to be, but I feel like... I feel like there's something that happened here a long time ago. And I'm probably wrong. I'm not like, you know... I feel like I, I might have some kind of empathic ability, but... George. We got names earlier, now we got a name again. George. But I'm not like, you know, any kind of big dog in the, in the arena of like medium shit but I, I i get vibes just like anybody else i think we all have that i don't think anybody's specialer than what the fuck the fuck was that
Mask, is that you? Denise. George, Denise. George and Denise. Hello? Fuck. Oh no. A mask just threw something at me or if something just made a noise here at the bridge. Hello? I felt like something touched my face. Died. Died. Did you die? Oh my god. <sighs> Shit. Hello? You what? You're behind me? Look, I don't care where you are. I'm doing my thing, you're not gonna ruin it. So, enjoy the dial tone. Shit, he cleared my damn thing, it said died. Bro. He's obviously here, he knows exactly what I'm doing. Oh, that creek rock is slick, man. Slippery. All right, let's go back up top and uh, the hell? What is all this shit? Infrared laser camera, spirit music box? Oh, you gotta pay for that. I'll pay for it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't even know if you can... Does it say settings? What the fuck? Guess she decided not to get out of the truck. Damn. Pull my pants up real quick. Can you tell me, did something happen to you here? Hello? You've helped me. How have I helped you? Please come forward and, and, and speak. Tell me more. Is this George or Denise? Or both of you? Damn, I want to go in here so bad, bro. Other end's locked too, right? Yeah. Shit. 
shit. I've never been more compelled to like go on a bridge in all of my life. Tempted to go around to the other side and see if we can get in that way. Let me do that, guys. I'm gonna, um, good responses there, but unless she wants to get out here, I'm gonna, uh, see if we can drive around to that other side if we can. So the Colt guy with no tongue shows up. Mass shows up. Despite loving loving to hear his own self talk, has decided to be a ninja, I guess. He obviously knows where I'm at. He said something about me being under the bridge. It's crazy. Crazy as shit in the world. Wow, look at those tires. Hey, I know. Um, you didn't want to get out and look around? Yeah. All right. After I I'm going to drive there. around to, uh, okay, so I put my seatbelt on. I'm going to drive around to the other side. And I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's locked on the other side too. But I just want to see if uh, there's any hopes of getting in there because there is something here. I can feel it. Not. Oh. oh shit. Oh man. Oh, wow. Yeah, it wanted wow. to. It wanted to. Yeah, they need to come pour some gravel over this road. There's a vibe here. Like, you know when you go to a haunted place and um there's a certain kind of energy you feel that almost yeah. feels like now something's on your head. <laughs> I'm hearing ringing. In your head. Also. Ringing? Ringing. That's weird. Like, really weird ringing. But, uh, I definitely feel it there. You should look it up and see if there's, like, any haunting history to be known here. Any ghost stories or anything like that. That way we can, we can know beyond me just in, you know, going off a of vibe. And what this, you know, this app sent us there for the intention. So I'm, I'm assuming that there must be something there. You think I can get to it this way? There's a turn. I mean, that would be the closest turn, right? That's the only turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a trail that goes up here. Okay, yeah, this looks familiar. Let's see. Oh, slow down. What are you doing? I, I don't know. I'm being crazy. <laughs> this road. Yeah, it's closed on this side too. I could see that over there, but hoping to God that maybe that latch or lever or whatever can like go up. Out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to check this out. <sighs> yeah. That is weird. Why would there be a satellite there? What the fuck? Why? Yeah, dish satellite. That's odd. Is that company even still around anymore? Dish. One of my favorite albums is Gish. I never had a dish. I was really young when I learned to fish. All the older players said, yo, do it like this. Blew my first girl a kiss. She was like, oh my God, you almost missed. I'm like, nah, baby girl, not this. Pull up and take a piss. They're like, oh my God, Jody's spitting nothing but bliss. Now it's time for a diss. 
Y'all don't want no beef though. Used to be from the streets though. Bro, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, hold on, hold on. Hold on one second, guys. I know, but pull this. Let's look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I've been showing them. <laughs> I could sit out here all day. Alright, I'm gonna stick this back on. Somebody left their little pink Dixie cup. Hey. Yeah? I'm sticking this in. Okay. Stick it in, baby. Alright, got it. Alright. Well, somebody got in here. Some graffiti right there. That's probably why they don't want people on here. Messing up this old historic bridge. I just wanted to, to run my thing. What, what are you okay? Just... Oh, you look like you've seen something and we're backing up. Hey, this is the side that he said he was on, right? Whoa. Lame. Hey. I felt like I fell. No, I don't think it was here. I fell on one of these bridges one time. All right, well, that sucks. Well, that was a, a bust. Uh... I mean, it wasn't really a it wasn't bus. Really a bus. You have that beautiful. Yeah. Whatever. No, we got the beautiful scenery. Uh, great experience seeing this place, especially what it took to get here. Um, frog boy calling always ruins my vibe temporarily, but uh, it can't ruin the beautiful sight that my eyes just seen over here. So, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I, I, I try and do my best. To bring the best to you guys uh, it's starting to get dark as you can see right now so smash that thumbs up comment below share this on social media I love you guys so so much thank you so much for supporting the channel being members being patrons buying merch and, and buying my movie mallet at malletmovie.com you guys truly are the best uh, we thank you so much for being a part of our life and being in the HTD family uh, I post almost every other day, live chat, live premiere, always 6 p.m. Eastern, right here. So if YouTube doesn't notify you that I'm posting a video, just if it's around 6 o'clock, just pop in and see if I've posted. So um, anyways, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in a few days. But until then, sweet nightmares. We all live. We all die. But it's what we do while we're here that defines us in the name. Every day is a memory, and it's up to us. To make the most out of it. What's your story? Yeah. I feel like they hate me cause they not me. Or maybe cause the girl just wanna give me sloppy. I seen a hater last week when I wrote a tweet. But seen them out in public, they ain't want no fucking beef. I'm a hustler, been this shit since I was yay high Used to be that cat, slinging dope in broad daylight I ain't go to Harvard, I ain't graduate Learned to cook base before I went to ninth grade I'm a YouTuber, now I got them really mad They like, fuck Jody, how we always get the bag I came up from nothing, proud as fuck to be alive Stab, shot, burn to death How the fuck I never die Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die Finna sip on my St. Ives Woke up in the morning I was standing in the trenches Standing, standing in the trenches I was standing in the trenches Woke, woke up in the morning I was standing I, I was standing in the trenches, I was standing in the trenches I remember touching dope, I remember having hope I remember teachers told me I was nothing but a joke Man, my life was on the ropes, then I started selling coke Guess my father never cared, he was always just a ghost Dog, I almost took an L, last run I ever did When I sold 200 rocks and I almost caught a bid When that cop got a call then he said he had to split I remember crying, saying, God, I'll go legit 
Finna ride, finna die, finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die, finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die, finna sip on my St. Ives Finna ride, finna die, finna sip on my St. Ives Woke up in the morning, I was standing in the trenches Stand, Standing in the trenches, I was standing in the trenches Woke up in the morning, I was standing in the trenches I, I was standing in the trenches, I was standing